Umjolo is take and go, no strings attached. Unga bina my feelings. Unga hetegi. Angjol nawe. Um, Umjolo, I think lapo po wakona. Yeah, it's it's when the relationship you're still not sure. You know, you're still clutch balancing, and then dating is when you've got it and it's automatic. Dating is the first stage for me when you want to create a long-term partnership with someone. Also, you know, I'm going to check out, 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 stupid jokes, even when they're not funny. Dating or being in a relationship is when you're committed. It's just the two of you. Or I'm we set at a frame, which I'd like to but then sit with you for a few years. So um, Jolo is the Royal Rumble. You get all your crushes, you put them in the ring same time, and they must fight to the death. The signs that I have made it from Um Jolo to dating is I love you. Chomi, I love you. I think after the third sleepover, it's physical intimacy. I think when 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 Ikadila Koilelet, you can see man when the vehicle is headed in the right direction. <laughs> But those ladies used to tell us, wait until it's burning before you call me. You know when you tell someone with nyasha? <laughs> and they're like, no. <sighs> yeah. And I guess even, like you can literally feel when you're about to burn, like the, the sensation doesn't necessarily come all at once. You can feel it coming. And I was one of those people that would keep quiet and not say, but by the time it's burning, she's busy with another client and she's starting cornrows there, so you just... That Afro call with the power up, my black brother, we're going to make it through. It's, gonna, it's not going to make it through your hair. <laughs> I know, because... Someone is definitely pulling your hair somewhere. Yeah, Afro comb dangerous. When I look at that comb, I just think, ooh, hunger. Anga's babies are in a slum. That aesthetic thing that could, you would imagine your hair burning, and that thing could just cause a fire. You and Mama and Uncle, we don't know what. Onga tu ya bonda. The time of. Yo, I think will break your hair like it's going to war with it. And even had like a ghetto vibe. It's like some sometimes they hold it like this. You know, this is the comb, and this is how they get through the Afro. Uh, I think that's what that fist stand for. It was trying to empower you to, you know, to believe that a better tomorrow is coming because today it sucks. Timeless African hairstyle. Is Eskel African to me? Yes, yeah, so we're bringing Eskel back to the future. Eskel, please, no, we're not going to embarrass ourselves as a black nation. We've already gone through so much. Braids are always timeless. Whether it's in 1994, 2004, 2024. Because it's a protective hairstyle, you know, for us black girls. I mean, anyone who's got a problem with braids is a problem with me. I think push back, I will bring it back because it's nice and simple and I think people still push their hair back. Push back on men, <laughs> I never. Yeah, I want to push back your hair, Alexa, unless you're starting a church where you're going to be scamming people. Relax, and then you, 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 you push back. Ah, come on, everyone can see you are coming with lies. Tell us you are at the black funeral without telling us. If they are not singing at your funeral, it's not a black funeral. They're loud. You can hear the singing, you can hear the crying. So you might hear the funeral before you see it. And you will be confused as to whether the people are mourning or celebrating because there's gonna be a lot of dancing and a lot of singing. That's how you know it's a funeral because you're just like, is this a... And the outfits. The yeah, people will dress up for funerals. And then that water, I get to make English again, that go no full of water. Hey, Basi, it's sugar water. That go no full of water. That go no full of water where they put the water and then when you faint, they give you that water and then you resurrect. Ah, then you know you're at a black funeral. Someone once cried and then fell into the hole. The coffin couldn't go down. Like they tried, they, yeah, they tried. And then there were those superstitions, yeah, you know, you know? And I'm like, is your machine not working this thing? You know when they put the coffin on that stand, they did it nicely. And the next thing, while we're busy singing there, the the coffin fell and then she... Um, the cops fell out. It was like the weirdest thing because they had to put her back and then continue with the funeral and then now we have to cry. Yo, guys. <laughs>